it looks like we got ourselves another customer. Five dollars a dipper, mister. We ain't got that kind of money. We're flat broke. We ain't got no money at all. Can we trade on something else? Nope. Not unless you want to trade them horses. Get back, Dorothy. That's a nice looking girl you got there, ma'am. Dorothy, get back. I had me a 12-year-old squaw once. Hell of a woman. Well, it's y'all's choice, pilgrims. Y'all wanna die of thirst. Your problem. Well, I think I get me a busy day. Dollars a different. Yeah. We need water. We ain't got no money. Give them some water. You want to pay for them too? Well, I take it you do. Or you will be paying one way or the other. Even if we take your horse. You found yourself a friend. Get your water. The horse is first. They have served you, now you serve them. The horses, then the women, then you. You know, I don't just sell water. I also got gold digging supplies. Now this recent strike they think is maybe the best effort, but you gotta have good equipment and you gotta be careful. Cause I'm gold darn sewer acting up. Now looky here, I got shovels and picks. I got pots and pans in here. And you look like you'll be needing the whole works. I got, I got flour. I got beans, I got, I got whiskey over here. I'll see. <laughs> I got one here I think you're gonna like. Look at that. Genuine Indian scalp. Just five dollars. Cost me ten. Then you're a fool. This is horse hair. You owe me for the water. That's three dippers at five bucks a piece. That's that's fifteen. Just pay up. I said pay up. This water does not belong to you. I got here first. Makes it mine. Let me spell it out for you, Sonny. If you don't pay up, we're gonna blow you from here to St. Louis. Right out. Do not come back to this land. What is your name? Winslow? 
You're going on to look for gold, Mr. Winslow? Go back to where you came from. The Black Hills belong to the Sioux, and they will fight to keep them. Yeah. George, we ought to do what he says. We're going on. We ought to go back home. You heard me, woman. We're flat broke, and we need that gold. Those Indian loving gunmen will stop me. Get back in that wagon, Izzy. He ain't scared me out of my share of that gold. I ain't afraid of no damn Indian. Sergeant Bridges. Is that him? Yes, sir. The legend himself. It's hard to believe he used to be a civilized white man. Now he's just a crazy Bridges. redhead. Bridges. Sorry, sir. But a lot of good white men have died on account of what he taught the Sioux. My name is Shunkawakan. A man called Horse. I am a yellow hand suit. All right. I'm Captain Vernon Cummings. I'm new to this command, but... They do not like your Crow Scouts. They work for the U.S. government. Crow and the Sioux have been enemies for hundreds of years. Bring them here again and there'll be bloodshed. I understand there's already been a killing. Not a killing, Captain. A slaughter. fashion a bow. The bow seemed rather large in his small hand. That woman was his mother, white calf. She was a kind woman and loved her people. I'm sorry. At your government's insistence, I convinced them to farm the land. I told them not to carry weapons. I told them that they must learn to trust the white man. my word that justice will be served. How? You have neither enough troops to cover thousands of square miles, nor sufficient knowledge of our lands. There are only a few white men who are guilty. When gold is discovered, Captain, the few multiply. If anything like this should ever happen again, I will not be able to contain my braves from seeking revenge. 
You'll have to stop them. We can't have you taking the law into your own hands. The treaty clearly states the army is responsible for policing the reservation. Then, police it. Find the murderers who did this and keep the others off our lands. Crazy woman. She can heal your wound. She's a Sioux. The Sioux are worse than the white man. They are the dung of the earth. They are the piss of the buffalo. I am Sioux. attacked by white men. You can help her. Elf woman. Help her. I don't want the help of the Sioux. Why don't you beat her? It is not my way. Huh. Well, it's my way. No! No! Her wound must be cleaned or it will poison her. You can heal her, Elf woman. Healer? She's a crow. If I wasn't a good Christian, I'd kill him myself. Tea from many green plants. It will help draw out the poison. Sue Pig! Bill! Oh. Stop it! Stop it, both of you! Elk woman can save your life. Elk woman, help her.
Captain! Captain Cunning! Reverend Perkins, what happened? A Sioux family was murdered, apparently shot down by white men. Sergeant Bridges, from now on, nobody goes into those hills. No, that's not fair. Yes, sir. Can't keep us locked up you here. folks hear that? No one goes into the hills. I thought you were sent out here to protect us, not the Indians. We're here to keep the peace. Keep us from the gold is more like it. We'll stop you. All you think is gold and people are being killed. Stop feeling sorry for the Sioux, Perkins. They deserve anything they get. I told you before, Durant. They're fine, honest people. And the land is theirs, by treaty. I'm going out there now to see man called horse to give last rites to those unfortunate Indians. Then you stay out there, you money-grabbing creature. All men are equal in the eyes of God. It's my duty. What are you gonna do about it, Captain? Reverend Perkins has been kind to our people. He's teaching me to be a good Christian. I give him medicine plants and arrow feathers. He gives me fine clothes and Bibles. Hallelujah. Will not be. I will take out white man's bullet. Elk woman, how is man called horse? Good, but older. Many of us are old now. Too many young braves killed, too many wars. Our villages are now filled with children and old women. Many crazy people in our Black Hills. More come every day. And dig up the ground like gophers. What of the soldiers? Not enough of them to stop all the gold seekers. Man called horse is doing all he can. He's the only one left strong enough to keep the peace. Coda, you've been away for many winters, learning the ways of the white man. You are different now. Our people will see that. Won't be easy for you. Diamond Pete, you fools killed Crow this time, not Sue. Don't matter, does it? How many times I gotta tell you? Our job is to push the Sioux hard enough so they'll break the treaty and start a full-scale war. Then we move it and claim the gold for ourselves. Huh. Well, maybe you did us a favor. Hmm? Take those women. Carry them as far away as you can. We'll make it look like the Sioux. Just a couple of innocent prospectors. <laughs> hey, fill them full of arrows, Sioux arrows, and then lift their scalps. The two men were shot through with Sioux arrows and scalped. I can only believe what I see. He's right. Man called horse. We must have justice on both sides. It is not the work of the yellow hand. Then who? Who? Someone is trying to start a war. If we intended to break the treaty, do you think we would stop at killing two prospectors? If we go to war, our objective will be to wipe out Whiskey Flats. The Laramie Treaty gave us the right to this land for as long as the water flows and the grass should grow. But the only thing growing on it now are the white men. Even as we speak, the other tribes say fight. I say peace. I will make sure the yellow hand keeps the peace, as long as you make sure to keep those gold-crazed lunatics off our land. I'm not a horse! I'm not an animal! Man! Man! I am a man! One day!
day I will be a chief! As you are peace chief. I believe we can solve our problems without bloodshed. Mancult horse. Why, yes. He was here for a meeting with Captain Cummings two hours ago. Did he take the low trail to the village? As far as I know. What's wrong? Toga! You need my help!
Dakota. There must be no bloodshed. The treaty must not be broken. Sometimes we must fight in order to find peace. Power is all the white man understands. War is not the answer. It's the road to self-destruction. Kota, do not give them an excuse for war. Promise me, Kota. Please, you, you must promise me. Yes, Father. I promise. Find a way, Kota. The Sioux nation must live on. I will. I will. The man called horse is dead, Mr. Perkins. How could you send for me at a time like this? We may be on the verge of a war right now. The people of Whiskey Flats are arming themselves, afraid of an attack by the Sioux. I don't like it any more than you, Captain, but I just learned three more white men were killed by... Well, you better hear it for yourself. This man came to me with this story, and I listened to him. Now it's your responsibility to listen. Where is he? Winslow? Come out here, please. Captain? will you kill? All of them. My father would have wanted justice, not war. White man's justice.
story about a man called Horse. He was an exceptional man. I only hope his death won't start a war. You did not come here to mourn man called Horse. No. Three men were killed at a waterhole four days ride east. This witness says you did it. That's him. He done it. You understand any killing, white or Indian, has to be investigated. I kill them in defense of myself. He's lying. He shot him down in cold blood, murdered him. Hell, I seen it. I'll have to take you in for a court of inquiry. You'll have full opportunity to give your side and prove your innocence. Sergeant Bridges? Yes. Mullins, you'll escort him back to Whiskey Flats. Winslow, you'll go with them. I give you my word. The men responsible for man called horse's death shall be found and brought to trial. Yeah. Daddy was their prisoner. And now Coda's gonna get the same treatment. If he tries to escape, shoot him! Ever see a man get scalped, Sonny? the shirt. That's the way it happened, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir! How many miles do you think it is back to the camp? I don't know, sir. You don't know shit! Oh, I swear I'll kill that damn breed. Kill him! 
Just give me a fair chance to tear them apart. Huh. What? What'd you say? Nothing. Just clear my throat. Shut up. Shut up and keep moving. I warned you, told you he has nothing but trouble. I want my money. I done my part. Give me my money. You gotta get out of here before Coda finds you. He'll kill me. This is bad time, Coda. Bad time. Who can stop the war now man called horse is gone? Our world slips away from us. Go! You must! But you need my horse, I need him! I won't stay with a coward who hides in the forest with an old woman! You should be leading your people against the whites. If my people fight, they will die. We must not kill. It's better to look for weapons than excuses. If the Sioux fight, the whites will say the treaty is broken. They will send their armies against us. I have been to the east. I've seen how many they are. I have seen their guns. I'm a crow. I'm not afraid to fight. Crow? What have the crow? What have the crow done? They have sold out to the white men. Their men are scouts for the army. They work for the soldiers so they can get guns and whiskey. They are the white man's dogs. Not all of them. When my people went to live by Fort Laramie, I left them. I don't want guns and whiskey. I want to live in the hills as my grandfather did. But I can't, because of the white man. Now they take your sacred lands, and they kill your people. And still you say, don't fight. I made an oath to my father, man called horse, that I would help the Sioux to survive. Then help them. Somehow you must help them. Indian land. Get off.
I'm going back to Boston. I didn't come 2,000 miles for anybody to scalp me. All I wanted was my share of the gold. Hell, I love engines. game out there and it's our right to shoot it it is not your right that's indian land more supplies are on the way have patience patience we've had enough patience custer said there was gold out there and that we'd have protection whilst we was getting it custer is a damn sergeant bridges whiskey flats is now under martial law no one goes in or out without my permission is that clear yes yeah but what about this quota I'll handle CODA. We can't punish the Sioux Nation because of one man. Big Bear and the others grow impatient. They want to join you in the fight. No. Red Wing and I must act alone. To the white man, I am an outlaw now. But, but if the tribe joins in, the whites will say the treaty is broken. You understand, don't you? I'm not stupid, but I am old. 
something you will never be. If the soldiers catch you, they will kill you, Coda. We need you. Be careful. have forgotten what their grandfathers taught them. have to do to start a war. Nothing we've done so far has worked. Well, with winter coming on, we'd better do something. Hey, Duran. There's Winslow's widow. Uh, there, girl. We're going home to Illinois. 
God willing, your father will find us there. I know he's alive. <sighs> Everything's gonna be all right. Hey! Hey! We should never have come out here in the first place. Not all the Sioux have forgotten what their grandfathers taught them. <laughs> <laughs> This place holds many memories for me. General Sherman has sent for me to go to Fort Laramie. When I return, I'll bring more troops. Until then, martial law is still in effect. Sergeant Bridges here is in command until I get back and will continue to enforce my orders. Anyone leaving this camp will be arrested. I don't care if I have to arrest the whole damn lot of you. And what about Koda? You said you get him in your head. Take this wagon back to the camp. Give these women a proper burial. Yes, sir. You're now in command until I return. Get them! That's what we'll do. They can't do that, Josh. Back off! Back off! Back off! Put your dog in and get out of here! I don't like it any more than you. You heard what the captain said. Dump their bodies near the Sioux village. That'll start a war. Nothing will. No. Yes. Durant. No. 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 Hey, Chicago. You can do better than that. Now come on. 
You losing your touch? I was just practicing. <laughs> Not this time. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> turning out to be as much trouble as your father. Well, I knew how to handle him. And I know just what to do with you. We'll turn you over to the army, Koda, and let them hang you. Between that and the dead squads, there won't be any stopping your heathen friends from coming out of the hill. for keeping us out of those hills and away from that gold. need us right here to help guard that prisoner. That mob could come up here and try to lynch him. I gave you an order, Mullins, and I'll do it. I'll take him. Soldiers have Coda. They will hang him. Now we must fight. No! Coda was willing to give his life for us. Now we must do the same for him. We will kill the whites. No, you must not kill anyone. Big Bear. Man called Horse was a great chief. He loved you. And you loved him. How can you forget all that he taught you so soon? 
Yes, how can a crow speak for the Sioux? We'll attack tonight. No. Remember what Coda said. Take the white man's guns. Burn the town. Destroy their supplies. And they will have to leave our lands. But if you kill them, the army will send all their soldiers against you. I am not afraid of the white soldiers. But they will kill Coda! The Sioux could prove their bravery by counting coup on a living enemy, as our fathers did. There is great honor in proving that you could kill your enemy, but that you choose not to do so. Yourselves. You must like pain. I got some pain for you. I'm going to put something on you that won't rub off. so many marks on you, we're going to call you Spotted Pony. You must find a way to save our people. The Sioux Nation must devour. Here, the blanket ass herself. Hurry, Ridley.
our war, but at least Coda helped us get rid of the miners. Yeah, but that still leaves Coda and the Indians between us and the gold. If I live to a hundred, I'll never see another night like that. Let's finish what we came here for.
result of the inquiry, the charges against you have been dropped. With no food and supplies, and with winter coming on, the people couldn't stay. I've been ordered to take my troops and join Major Benteen at Fort Laramie. Looks like the Black Hills belong to the Sioux once more. Goodbye, Coda. Goodbye, Captain. <laughs>